Welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. It has been a while, but we are back on the main village guys, my channel 12, the General Tony account. And today my friends, it is a sad day on the channel. It is going to be the end of Dark Elixir inside a COC guys. We only need 160,000 Dark Elixir to do our last ever upgrade inside of the game guys. We've got 155 thousand dark elixir there is three thousand six hundred on the table guys and we're gonna get ourselves a loot bonus as well so all we need to do is three star this base guys and this will be the last ever dark elixir upgrade inside of the general tony base guys so what we're gonna do we are gonna drop our super queen walk down the bottom i am going to use a couple of baby dragons to funnel the buildings on the right guys and i'm gonna drop in a couple on the left hand side to create the funnel we desire. I am going to use a rage spell nice and early on the queen guys. And I'm actually going to get the war record going in as well. I want to see how much damage we can do just with a super queen walk guys. So here we go. Are we going to be able to enter into the base? That is the question. The queen is doing an amazing job taking down these defenses guys. But uh, I think we're going to have to drop in our giants now. As we are about to enter into the core of this base guys here we go the entire army running rampaging into the center i'm gonna use a hill spell nice and early there is a tornado spell there damn that's gonna do a lot of damage guys but uh we just about managed to survive and there goes the grand warden's ability guys so we finally made it into the hill spell here we go all the troops making their way into the center there goes a final rage into the core there goes the king's ability Let's see if we can walk away with a nice triple star here, guys. So, looks like there is a lot of damage going on to my troops. I think we managed to take out all the Infernos, guys. So, that's a good, a good sign. And we are going to drop the final baby dragon at the top. And I'm going to clear all these buildings on the right with a couple of minions, guys. Hopefully, we can walk away with a triple star here. So, believe it or not, this is the last ever Dark Elixir upgrade inside of the base guys i've been upgrading like crazy the last four or five years and we have almost maxed out our town hall 12 base which is pretty damn crazy now in this episode it's actually going to be a really big one guys we have a rune of gold we've got loads of loot we're going to be doing a couple upgrades inside of this video guys and we're going to try to max out the final few buildings inside of the actual base so there goes the cannon 97 98 two buildings left guys and it is game over for this defender. Here we go. The baby dragon's going to take out the pump. And there it is. So let's see what we got. Did we get enough Dark Elixir? Yes, we did. A 100% loot bonus, guys. Taking us over the 160,000 Dark Elixir that we needed. So let's go ahead and check what we're going to be doing in the episode. So first off, there is the last spell. It is going to be the best spell, of course. And that is actually going to max level. So if we take a look, guys, we maxed out everything. The best spell is legit the last ever upgrade inside of the laboratory. Now, if we go over to our treasury, let's see what... Oh, we had Dark Elixir in there anyway. We didn't even need to actually do that raid, guys. So that's going to take us well over the amount of Dark Elixir. We need 180,000 Dark Elixir. But I believe... Clan Games finished a day ago, guys, and we did choose our magical items. So we do have a Book of Fighting, which we're probably going to use on the Bat Spell, guys. We have a Rune of Gold, and then we have a variety of different potions, including a, uh, a couple of Builder Potions, guys. So check it out. Four Builders free. One of them is upgrading the Cannon, guys. That is our last ever Cannon going to max level. All the rest of them... Have already been maxed out let's just double check if we go here these are the final four upgrades guys all we've got to do is four measly mortars and we're done and then we've got about 140 walls to do as well guys but if you if you take a look at everything else it is already maxed out the cannon is going to max level as i said archer towers maxed out wizard towers air defenses the base itself is looking pretty damn insane guys so let me just double check I've maxed out these Dark Elixir Drills. That is the first one. That is the second one. And I know there's a third one in here somewhere, guys. Have we maxed out all three drills? Can anyone see 
Drill number three. Let's just remove everything, guys. Let me just make sure I've maxed it out. Yeah, we have. Okay, that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So, now it's time to choose our uh, our upgrade. So, into the laboratory. Let's do this, guys. The last ever Dark Elixir upgrade. 160,000 Dark Elixir. And we are going to get that going, guys. So, there it is. The Bat Spell is now currently upgrading to the next level. That is absolutely amazing. We've got... Five and a half million gold, eight million elixir. What we're gonna do, I am going to use our rune of gold, guys. But before we use it, let's actually spend the gold inside of the storages. So I'm gonna go over and upgrade one of these walls. We're actually gonna upgrade two of them, guys. We're gonna use five million of the elixir as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our magical item, which is, of course, the rune of gold. So here we go, click the use button. Let me just grab a screenshot of that, guys. And we are good to go back to 12 million gold, guys. Amazing. So the mortar is going to be an 11 million gold upgrade. And that is our first mortar going to level 10. Meaning we need just 33 million more gold. And we will have maxed out every single building inside of my Town Hall 12 base, guys. And then all that's left is the exact number... We need to do this 250 level 13 walls, guys, meaning we need to do another 141 level 14, sorry, level 13 walls. Each one is 5 million, guys, so it is going to take a long time to do those, but um, it's probably going to be a fun journey. So what we're going to do right now, we are going to boost everything inside of the base, guys. King, Queen, Grand Warden, Spells, Troops, and we also have ourselves some Wall Wreckers. Let's just make another one. And we're going to get ourselves into a live attack, guys. So our mission now is to try and save as much gold over the next couple of weeks, guys, to max out the final three mortars. We do have three builders free, so, you know, I suppose we could have done them. And if we find any deals inside of the shop which offer war rings, we will be purchasing those deals, guys. Now, let's do this. Let's get ourselves into a live attack. We need a two-star to get ourselves a star bonus as well, guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple of moments' time. Let's find ourselves an awesome opponent. So we've landed on a Town Hall 12, guys, and I just realized it took us like five minutes to find this base. So not too long, but it's still a lot of time. And I just realized as soon as we landed on it, we don't have a king and we don't have a queen. Now, usually, I would, I would quit, guys. I would go back home. But we're going to challenge ourselves because, in all honesty, apart from the Giga Tesla... The rest of the base really isn't that great, guys, so I've got a good feeling about this one. I mean, we don't really care about the Dark Elixir. We just want the gold and the Elixir. Now, we don't have a queen, so I can't do a queen walk, so I might do a Grand Warden walk, and um, we'll see how this goes, guys. So I'm going to drop the Grand Warden over there with the healers. He's going to do his thing, and I'm just going to start funneling for him, helping him out, guys, with these baby dragons to try and take out some of these buildings and uh, grab the majority of the loot inside of the base. So as that is going on, I am going to slowly drip in some wizards and of course some giants just to grab me some of these collectors, guys. And then we're going to go for the town hall, which is, of course, the end goal in the center. But before we do that, we need to make sure we make an appropriate funnel. So I'm going to use another baby dragon here. And I'm going to try and take out all these buildings in this section of the base, guys. Now, just checking up on the Grand Warden. He is looking good. There goes another baby dragon to grab that gold storage, guys. Now, because we funneled this side of the base, I now need to funnel up the top. So, we're going to use two more baby dragons. And then we are going to keep the final one. Check it out, guys. It's actually looking like a decent raid. The Grand Warden is doing an amazing job on his own. And, um... There is a chance he could sniper that single target Inferno Tower, guys. Now, just as the raid is going on, I do want to make sure I grab all these collectors. We've got that minion there. That's awesome. Final Baby Dragon's going to go down there, guys. And the Grand Warden, sorry, the Eagle Artillery, still hasn't woken up, which is good. So, now we've got everything in, guys. I am going to send in the main army. So, check this out. Here we go. There goes the War Wrecker. Ball is coming in, and the wizard's on the back foot, guys. There goes a rage spell. Let's get these troops moving into the base. I'm going to drop a poison on those little air larries. Another rage onto these giants, and we're going to use the heal spell as well, guys. Now, let's see 
if we can grab ourselves this Giga Tesla in the center. So, I'm going to go ahead and drop a free spell. Freezing the Giga Tesla. There goes a Grand Warden's ability, guys. There goes another Rage Spell. There goes a Town Hall. Giga Bomb's going to go off, guys. But the Grand Warden was protecting my beautiful troops. And we managed to do a pretty damn decent job on this base. Considering we didn't even have a king or a queen, guys. I mean, we're about to hit 70% total damage. So we're going to get ourselves a 100% bonus. And we're getting a star bonus as well, guys. Now, there is a little bit of loot left. We're grabbing the majority of it before the raid ends, guys. Leaving a tiny bit of money on the map. But without a doubt, that was a pretty damn amazing job, guys. In total, we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. About 1.3 million. And there's another 1.5 million, guys. So we got almost 3 million loot from a single raid. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. So let's collect that from the treasury. Add it to our storages, guys. And we've almost got enough elixir to do another wall upgrade. So we are going to be ending this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next one.